Hello, everybody out there in YouTube. We are the Middle Age Guys, and again, it's another edition of what we are playing this week as Middle Age Guys. Uh, you may know that it's kind of hard for us to get to our favorite hobby in all the world, which is actually playing video games. But, you know, with these particular topics or videos that we go ahead and we do every week, as Grey Mouse went ahead and he suggested, and when you when he brought this up to us, you know, it actually gives us a reason to go ahead and dump, you know, dive into the back library and try to go ahead and start <laughs> playing some of the things that we spent a lot of hard-earned money on, all right? Uh, but enough of that. Let me get the introductions out of the way. I'm the Reverend. The theme here. And I'm Gray Mouse One. Okay. Topic's really simple. What are we playing this week? We're going to talk about what the games that we've been playing. Uh, these aren't full-blown reviews. These are just pretty much what we've played so far, what we think of them. If there are some critical thoughts, we'll be free to go ahead and offer those up. But if there aren't, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, hey, look, this is what we're playing. You know, by the end of we, by the time we get to the end of the video, we'll, you know, if there's anything you guys want to go ahead and suggest for us to go ahead and maybe check out, you know, then maybe that'll be something for you to leave in the commentary. But I'm way ahead of myself. Guys, what have you been playing this week? Uh, you know, title of the video says it all. Floor is open. <laughs> For anyone that's been watching my channel already, um, I actually played this and I played it live. You know, I played it on camera and everything. WWF <sighs> Super WrestleMania for the Super Nintendo. Now, WWF. WWF. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> As if you've seen that video already, I got this on Christmas and played it. And I was like, okay, damn it. <laughs> it's not the worst wrestling game ever. I think that goes to tag team wrestling for the NES. But look. Yeah. <laughs> but um, with this game, yeah, you, it's – Okay, it's a roster, uh, you know, of WWF wrestlers at the time, like Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Jake the Snake, Sid Justice, Million Dollar Man, Undertaker, the Legion of Doom, and the Natural Disasters. They all have the same fucking moves. They all move the, the, the same fucking speed. And there's no signatures in the game. It was just a wrestling game. And it was a good first try for the next gen as far as wrestling games for the WWF. But that's one of the games I was playing this week. Uh, what about you, Gray Mouse or Reverend? Who else wants to jump in this? Well, I can go ahead and I can jump in. Um, let's see here. We, uh, like I said, we went ahead and we moved into a new uh, work area over there at, uh, at, <laughs> at my place of employment. And one of the things that they they went ahead and they did was that um, – one of the other co-workers uh, is huge on uh, arcade cabinets and things like that. Um, so he's got a, a huge universal arcade cabinet uh, that's set up with hyperspin and rocket launcher uh, as far as the front end and, uh, and back end of it. And because of that, he's, you know, after spending a long time doing a lot of extensive setup and everything else like that, he, uh, you know, he's got access to like thousands of games as far as what he has in his library. Because of that, um, I've actually had some time to go ahead and sit down and, and practice a few rounds or, or revisit some some fighting games that I have uh, that I have a hold of, but I haven't been able to go ahead and play on my own spare time a lot at home. All right, um, and that would be. These two particular titles right here. All right. Uh, first one, of course, uh, Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition. Um, yeah, if you've if you paid attention to our particular channel or any of our channels, we've been really critical about Street Fighter Five uh, in general ever since the very beginning. Um, yes, the arcade edition, the arcade playthrough, and everything else—that's something that should have been there since the very since day one. All right, but. Uh, aside from that, um, I'm not going to beat a dead horse that far, all right? 
And yes, the Super Nintendo version that is over 25 years old had that fucking mode uh, that this this one did, doesn't have, all right? But um, yeah, it's given me an excuse to go ahead and bust out the uh, arcade stick or at least one of the arcade sticks that I made. I've got it over there at my desk at work. This is one of the things I've been doing, uh, you know, practicing through and playing through like some of the arcade modes for some of the characters on a regular basis. But if I'm not if I'm not messing around with this, I'm usually messing around with this. All right. Um, Night Warriors, maybe not on the Saturn itself, but Night Warriors, you know, uh, Darkstalkers Revenge um, on the full size arcade cabinet, which is funny because that's kind of where I learned how to play the game initially. Huh. Uh, all the way back in the Early 1990s. 90, yeah. I want to say 93, 94. Uh, 94. No, it been, yeah, it would have been around 94, 95 for me. I think it's 94, uh, 95. Uh, no, for myself, when I started learning how to play the game, it would have been around 94, 95 at the student lounge at Long Beach City College was where, was where I was learning how to play this, all right? Um, you know, and there were a couple of, a couple of other folks that I, I, I played this with. And, um, you know, my, my buddy Buzz... And um, one of our other cohorts who and actually ended up going to jail a few years after we, we lost contact with each other. But that was that's something else altogether, all right? But, <laughs> yeah, great arcade game. Uh, you know, unfortunately, this particular series is one of those dormant fighting libraries, you know, legacy libraries from Capcom, which I would love to see a comeback. Um, Along with other ones, I know theme. You're dying to say it. What, what what should be coming coming out? You know what number threes are are, are on your mind? Uh, Power Stone <laughs> three and Rival Schools three, please. Yes, exactly. Okay, you let's, know, let's just throw it in there. Dark Star yeah. four, please. Ex exactly. You know, if I and I know a lot of the characters that are from here have been on loan to other franchises and other things, but you know this. If you if you haven't had a chance to play, uh, you know the Dark Stalker series from the very beginning. Um, even if you don't play all the way from the original Dark Stalkers, Night Warriors is a great jumping on point, uh, as, especially when it comes to like the mechanics and the controls, especially for some of the super moves uh, for the characters themselves. Great jumping on point right here. But yeah, that's been one of the things that I've been playing uh, during break time. Uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, over there at work. Um, Gray Mouse, what about you? Well, um, for the most part, I've been uh, playing old school. Go figure. <laughs> okay. um, except old school games on modern hardware. Okay. Um, for instance, uh, specifically, uh, the Mana series. Um, I have been playing the Switch version. You cannot get this Ah, stateside. Damn. So Damn. I've been basically I've been playing. Uh, what it is is uh, Final Fantasy um, Adventure, which is on here, which is Mana One. Yeah. Um. So that's mainly been taking a lot of my time. You're playing it on the uh, on the Switch version. Luckily, I know the game inside and out, so I don't really have to really read it. So that's a plus. But um, what's interesting about this one is that this has um, the soundtracks to all three games. Yes, three games. There's actually Mana series. There's actually uh, uh, Secret of Mana. I'm sorry, uh, Final Fantasy Adventure, Secret of Mana, which is Secret of Mana 2 in Japan, and also Secret of Mana 3. It's all on here. And what's good about this is it has a lot of options. Uh, this is a game that, you know, like the theme was saying about – Power Stone 3, Rival Schools 3, Dog Stalkers 300, you know, whatever. <laughs> this needs to be ported to America. Everybody needs to, to be able to play this and localize. You know, not a lot of people, I mean, most people that want it anyway probably already know the games for the back anyway. But Mana 3, that, that's kind of a, you have to get into the eye patches and peg legs to actually play a... Uh, <laughs> to play a localized version of that one. But yeah, that's pretty much, this is what's been taking most of my time 
uh, this past week is <laughs> definitely the kind of series. Yeah. Um, all right, full circle theme. What uh, was there anything else you had? Uh, uh, you were playing this particular yep. week. I had to. Ju- I had to go way back, and <laughs> I I had to jump on this because I was I was at work and I was like. <sighs> I'm going to play that when I fucking get home because <laughs> this game has a load, a load of memories for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. Look, you talk about arcade classics. Um, look, throughout the eighties, this is one of them. Then yeah, when it hit yeah. the Atari, of course it wasn't just like the arcade as far as graphics are concerned, but I do give it credit for the sound that it had. Yeah, yeah. And from going from ball to joystick and button, again, the control was fluent. I I give that 100% credit. Um, yes, this is in the shooter category. It is. For me, it is anyway. But yeah, man, had a bunch of memories with that. And my sister, who was five years older than me, used to play that game in the arcade. And she used to position these motherfuckers, these centipedes, and hit them so they would turn into mushrooms. So the mushrooms will be like in rolls. So next Still thing, five. she's positioning herself in one place, holding down the button, and centipedes were just coming down, coming down coming down, coming down, and she just has that button. The spider will always miss her. I'm like, how the fuck did you do that? <laughs> how long did it take you to master that shit? I, damn. But it was the ball in the arcade, and yeah, you know, women are better in handling balls than us, but <laughs> simple as that. No dude can beat her off that game. Centipede for the arcade, but centipede for the Atari, just as great. Love that game. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> uh, whoa, there are so many things to say. Uh, that uh, okay, I'll let that one. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let that one slide. All right. Um, okay. <clears throat> Following on the theme of Secret of Mana, and like Gray Mouse brought up. All right. Uh, and I know he's been playing the, this one this week because I've seen him on on PSN logged in, but I picked this up last week. And, um, okay, I wish I could speak about this in happier terms, all right? Look, a lot of reviews were like, you know, people should be angry about the fact that this didn't come to the Switch. No, people should be angry about the fact that the collection that Grey Mouse showed earlier for the Switch hasn't come out localized here in the states all right yes it is yes it's also available in the uh in the uh snes classic edition all right secret of mana um uh it well if you're gonna do that (laughs) Uh, (laughs) all all i gotta say about secret of mana is that it's one of my favorite games all right you guys got and uh, these guys got the actual cartridge cartridge (laughs) <laughs> you know, so th- this is this is the reference that I'm coming from. All right, this is that. Um, <laughs> barring the trilogy, the the collection that you know, Grey Mouse showed, showing up for the Switch here. Basically, this was the next best thing that I was looking forward to. All right, um, <clears throat> a lot of people were sitting there. Well, a lot of the actual professional reviews that you sit there uh, and you read out there will sit there and say something about, oh, the art style and the transition to, from 2D to 3D is hit and miss for some people. Some people like it, some people won't. The rearrange, the arranged music in comparison to the original uh, soundtrack is hit and miss. All right, some people like it, some people won't. All right, um, the thing yeah. that kills me about this, all right. And this really isn't – I really didn't see a lot of it on a lot of the uh, reviews that are out there is that there's a, another part of each review, especially considering the job that I do, okay, because 
I work in the compatibility section of a QA department for a major publisher. All right. And I've been doing QA work for game software, for, for games, for, I'd say, the better part of the last 15 years of my employee life. All right. So there are certain things that when I happen to notice them in a game that comes out, you know, in retail format, that if it occurs, it just completely lowers my my score and it just destroys my impression of the game, right? Um, so a lot of reviewers go out of their way like, oh, it may take a while to get used to the to the graphics. It may take a while to get used to the sound effects and the music, all right? Yada, yada, yada. But I have not seen any of them, all right? Or, or hardly any of them mention the fact that you get random fucking crashes in this game, all right? Enemies disappear off the fucking map. All of a sudden, they become invincible, unkillable, untargetable, all right? Or that, you know, the the pathing is horrible on this. You're, the AI gets caught up on anything. It's like they can sit there, they can get caught up on, and, and, and stuck on a piece of lint, okay, in a fucking carpet a half mile away and still not be able to figure out a way to come to you, even though they've got hundreds of thousands of yards of open space in between you and them. All right. It's if you're somebody who's out there, who's like, Oh, I'm really angry about the fact that this didn't come out of the switch. Don't be okay. I'm going to say that right now. Don't be not that one. Don't be angry at this one. Be angry at the, at the fact that, Square Enix didn't go ahead and bring out a localized version of what Grey Mouse is holding up to the camera right now. All right. Because the secret of mana, when, you know, as far as this goes, yeah, you know, the, the graphics, uh, the new graphics style, the new uh, visual style, and the, and the Rage uh, soundtrack, you know, it's something that you could deal with. All right. But when it comes to all the other technical shit, especially the sort of thing that, you know what? If I was a person who was working on this, they would be wondering, you know, what the fuck I'm doing. They would be wondering why they were paying me to fucking work on this game. All right. Um, you know, that's just something, unfortunately, I'm really disappointed about. All right. Look, I have played every, I play this game every fucking day this week. All right. You know what determines when I stop playing the game? <laughs> When it crashes, all right? And whether or not it crashes 20 minutes into me playing or an hour into me playing, once it's done, I am done for the night because I, my patience for it is so fucking thin right now, especially by this time. Oh, according to my, to my save file, I've got around 18 hours, okay, of playtime on this, okay? According to my count, I have crashed around a dozen times. All right. Hard crashes, blue crashes straight to the to the PS4 desktop. Gray Mouse has been playing it himself. He's been experiencing the same exact fucking thing too. But some of the best fucking reviewers that I've been seeing out there haven't said a goddamn thing about it. Okay. Wow. I don't know why. But that's just how it is, all right? But maybe unfortunately, maybe fortunately, that's one of the things I've been playing this fucking week. And I would be a lot happier if it if it worked a lot better, <laughs> just to be honest, okay? Gray Mouse, you're next. <laughs> um, just to add on to the dog pal here, since we're going to dog pal it, um, I have the digital version of the game and I get the same thing so it's in both versions and I don't mind <sighs> since this is a game that I played so I guess I could talk about it um the music I, I, yeah it's a little different but not too much like they you know they the the the, the, the standard overworld music you know uh when you get to the four uh the four seasons forest and whatnot it, the music doesn't bother me. The, 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 the difference in sprites doesn't bother me. It, it's a good game. If it didn't fucking hard crash every time I want to do something. And 
I, I think when I went to go kill the spiky tiger, when the gate come open, it hard, that was my first hard crash. It went straight to the, please report this to PlayStation Network. I Damn. mean, blue screen hard crash. And it, it, it would have had, this game had so much potential. I was waiting for it. And I know there's a lot. I, nah, I'm not a Mana fan at all. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not a Secret of Mana fan at all. I don't, I, I don't like Secret of Mana at all. You know, I have maybe 10 or 15 versions of this game. <laughs> Talk, you know, emulator or, or freaking super. Uh, it, it, no. I, I've been waiting for this. And it, it, it's bullshit that it got through QA in its current form. So if you're going to pick it up, I highly recommend you wait until a patch or two comes out. If it comes out, but okay, at I, least at I least for the crashing part. Dead by now, but yeah, at anyway, least for the crashing um, part, you know. So yeah. say again, I said at least for the crashing part, you know. Yeah, the yeah, other wow. fix that. Yeah, uh, you know the, the AI. Terrible. I don't think they're going to fix that because yeah, I, I, I've ran all the way through something and the AI got stuck in, in the desert stage. It got stuck in between these. The, anyway. Um, so the next game that I played, along with The Secret of Mana, uh, I was again. Um, I uh, play Guild Wars two, um, and <laughs> in fact, I have a, a little ten minute thing on my uh, on my channel um, that of my home instance or whatever. Uh, we were expecting a patch on the this past Tuesday, or at least a uh, a trailer for. Uh, Season four, episode two, and that didn't come out due to QA problems that actually Arianet fixed or is fixing before they release some bullshit. That not to say anyway, it took them back for mm. full circle. So hopefully this Tuesday we'll get a patch and or at least a trailer for a patch because it, uh, usually it comes out every um, the content comes out every two to three months and it's like a. a, a a season uh, episode, which you know, it gives it adds like I don't know about five to ten hours of gameplay, depending on your play style. If you want to go through it all, and of course, you got those leeches that go in and just freaking just hammer it all the way through in one time, in one sitting. <laughs> yeah. So um, again, uh, I've been playing uh, Guild uh, Guild Wars two, and um, I mean, I got a PC that 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 could run it, so I figured. Yeah, it's one of my favorite MMOs. Uh, go ahead, uh, theme. You got another one? Got one more. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, once again, this goes back to the arcades. But th there's only one thing that pissed me off about this game. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> go ahead. Now, the only thing that pissed me off about this game is that Number one is on a Super Nintendo. This thing should have been on the NES. That that's okay. first things first. <laughs> and the other thing that pissed me off that goes hand in hand with this, this game was released in 1995. <laughs> this game came out in the early 80s in the arcade, like I think 81 or 82. Wait a minute. Okay. You said 1995. For the Super Nintendo, yes. 1995. Isn't that when the Nintendo 64 came out? Uh, in the Japan, next yes. Wow. <laughs> because wow. when I was like, why the fuck would you wait until the life of the Super Nintendo was over in order to get Mr. Do? Because, I mean, I love this in the arcade. But yeah, yeah. I was like, Okay, you put Burger Time on the NES, you put Contra on the NES, you put Russian Attack on the NES, you put a whole bunch of Pac-Mans and Miss Pac-Mans, and, and you put Millipede, you put Centipede on the Atari, but you wait until the end of the life of the Super Nintendo to put Mr. Do out? Fuck. And those, those are all like mid to late 80s, you know, freaking arcade games. Exactly. Uh, yeah. But not even mid. Early so, beginning. Yeah. 1981, 1980. Yeah, 1982. So I was like, that was the only, okay, the latest game that came out. No, fucking Burger Time came out in what, 82? 
I, uh, I, look, yeah. like I said, I didn't understand that. So that was the only thing that pissed me off about that game. 1982, yep, for, for Burger Time. Google is our friend. Yeah. Oh, well, and <laughs> it, even had dumpy. I, think, I think that hit the, NE, the NES at like 88. You had Donkey Kong. It was on a fucking NES. Donkey Kong. Yeah. But back to Mr. Do. <laughs> yeah. But look, again, fun game, especially the arcade one. But that's what pissed me off about the Super Nintendo version or the Super Famicom version in this case. Yeah. Yeah. But still have to go back and play it because I was like, let me play some old school shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> That's that that is that is funny. Um okay. For my next my third my third choice right here, um I'm actually gonna uh unlike the theme, I went ahead and I, I I was playing some actually surprising even for me, I was playing some relatively new games. Um the first one that I, I went ahead and I jumped into is that uh Nihon Falcom they put out a um holy a game called yeah, Tokyo Zanadu. All right. This is Tokyo Xanadu EX, which is the reason why it's EX is that Tokyo Xanadu is actually on the PlayStation Vita. All right. Yeah. Which Gray Mouse has the collector's version right there. All right. Um, <laughs> this is this is the EX version. I went ahead and I played through the intro and the tutorial of it. Uh, and um, I got to the point where I was like, okay. If I'm going to jump into this, this is not this is not as casual friendly as the E series. All right, the E series is pretty straightforward. It's like go ahead and get yourself to a save point, and then you can jump in. And there's there's not a lot to sit there and distract you as far as the number of things that you got to do. A lot of people have been uh, comparing this to Persona 5. I'm not sure how close that comparison is to this, but it does look like there is a lot of life sim type um, activities that are tied to this particular one. Because I was kind of expecting okay, you know, go ahead and give me like uh, an ease game but in modern Japan era throw in like, you know, the psychic students and espers and, and, (laughs) and, and other mythical bullshit and I'll, I'll be cool. But no, you have to sit there and you have to pay attention to when your classes fucking happen and your fucking part-time job and and the, the class schedules of your fucking classmates and shit like that. So um, at this moment in time, not ready to deal with all of that. Okay, so that's one of those things right there. All right. Unfortunately, that kind of also applies to this the other thing that I started up this fucking week too. All right. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles two. I'm actually really, really uh, tempted to go all the way back to the Wii or to the Wii U to play the first Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, because the thing is that the lovely thing about Xenoblade Chronicles two, as far as everything that I've seen and all of the feedback that I've gotten from all of my coworkers who have played it is that um, this could have been, one of those games that ended up with a large portion of the content being censored out due to Western sensibilities. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, politically correct sensibilities and shit like that. But guess what? A lot of that did not happen. So it's pretty much a a very full game. But um, if you played, you know, the previous Xenoblade uh, and uh, the, same type of scenario applies with this here is that uh, once you sit there and you play through the first part, literally it's like, all right, we're going to set this whole table worth of shit in front of you that you can just go out and you can explore. You can do, you know, at your fucking leisure. Um, Right now at this moment in time, unless I'm really in the mood to sit down and say, all right, I've got 80 fucking hours I can go ahead and I can set aside for this. Um, this is really not something that I want to jump into right now. Okay. The cool thing about the E series is that they're kind of, they're very central in like, okay, 
this is what you do and this is what you have to get going. And then it opens up a little bit more along the way. There's a whole bunch of other things that kind of adds on. Uh, Tokyo Xanadu and Xenoblade Chronicles, um, they're like, all right, here's your basic gameplay. Here's your basic combat. This is your basic scenario. We're going to dump you in. And there's a shitload of stuff that you can do. Figure it out. Okay. Which right now, unfortunately, I don't have the, I'm not in the mood or, and I, I don't have the time to, to quite get into that. But sooner or later, I will have better thoughts on these two. All right. Um, yeah, especially considering that these things I actually cracked out of the cellophane within the first fucking week that I purchased them. So yeah, <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I will have better, better thoughts on these sometime in the future. All right. Uh, Grey Mouse, so uh, was there anything else that you were playing this week? Yeah, I have a couple of guilty pleasure games. Um, I've been dabbling in, um, uh, here we go, uh, a couple of visual novels on, okay. uh, on Steam. Okay. Uh, specifically the Sakura series. Hmm. Um, That's like the most... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, uh, specifically the um, Sakura Angels and the Sakura Swim Club. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> what can I say? I, I've been over in Japan for over 21 years, 22 years, or something like that. And uh, yeah, the Japanese culture have grown on me. And it's definitely a, a, a guilty pleasure type of game. I mean, you're, you're almost like, Hmm. <laughs> but I read it for the story, honestly. Hmm. I mean, it's just the plot. Story. Yeah, the for story. The plot. <laughs> uh, we understand. <laughs> yeah, that wraps up pretty much what I've been playing. Um, and you know, <sighs> if you if you like visual novels and especially uh, Japanese style visual novels, um, definitely pick up. Uh, the Sakura series. There's a lot of games actually, and uh, when there's a Steam sale, because they go down to like four dollars, sometimes even two dollars a piece, and it's easy to pick them up. But yep. yeah, it, it'll, it'll take it'll take hours out of your day, definitely reading and picking and you know just going through the game. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely a guilty pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> no one's judging. No one's well, judging. No one's judging. All right, that's all I'm saying. Um, all right. With that out of the way, with a few minutes that we have left, is there anything that you're planning on playing that's in the lineup uh, uh, this coming week, guys? Ooh, yes. But, wow. Um, yeah, <laughs> I plan on playing this. I will play this, and I will stand by. I will record myself playing this and I will have a playthrough of this because I will, I do want to play the, the computer against the computer in this puzzle game. And I will do a couple of the puzzles that are in this game. And yeah. I will explain about this later and along the way. Anybody else? I'll never forget when we first saw those. Um, yeah. yeah. That could be explained in your video. Uh, games I'm going to play. Actually, I just picked up from uh, the GameStop here uh today actually um and i was and it was recommended for me by the theme and that will be ran out and wipeout um cool. i have been a fan of wipeout ever since the theme actually showed me it uh <laughs> actually not even showed me he was playing it and i was like wow what is that he handed me the the the, the case and i was going to go buy it and the the uh, the soundtrack alone would be the, the, the worth the purchase, and if and if you like racing, especially arcade racing, I mean you can't you can't beat that because you get to blow people up and and first first you know you get to you get to play oh my god it's such I, I can't wait to bust the uh, silphane off of these to actually play them, but yeah I'm definitely gonna be playing these next week. No, I think for myself uh, I will probably be. I'm going to take a step back from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm going to try to play Xenobl the first Xenoblade Chronicles. I don't know whether or not I'm going to go all the way back to the original Wii version. 
or I'm just going to play it on the Wii U. Most likely I'm going to play it on the Wii U because it does have the um, uh, the updated specs and visuals and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Then the fact that I need a really good reason to go ahead and start uh, using my Wii before I decide to go ahead and say fuck it and completely uh, crack it and mod it and soft mod it and everything else. All right. <laughs> um, so that I'm definitely going to be playing... I am going to be slogging through to sit there and try to finish this up, all right? Um, <laughs> only for the fact, at least, to get it to the to the end, because I'm... Did Secret of Mana have a, a new Game Plus on it? Okay, I don't... I don't, I don't recall. You're talking about from the, the original Super Nintendo? Yeah, from the original Super Nintendo. I know, I know Chrono Trigger did, but I don't recall if Secret of Mana did. Hmm. I, I don't think it did. I don't think so. But, I mean, right. you got a lot of grinding to do, especially with the magics. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. So well, I can hold on to that. I mean, because you're going to need a lot of that grinding to, to, to finish off the mana creature or the mana beast. Well, you know, to be honest with this particular one, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty much at this moment in time because of, because of my general experience with it, <laughs> I'm really going to be playing it up to the point where I, I finish it, you know, and say – Hey, look! I beat it. You know, yep. I, it's it's not like. Here's the thing: when it works, I, I have it's fun great. with this game. Yeah, it's great. Um, but it's just that at this moment in time, I, you know, if you're if you're gonna sit there and you're gonna ask me whether or not it's worth the cash, um, even at forty bucks, because because of the crashing issues, I can't readily, I can't readily, you know, suggest it out. You know. It's just one of those things that completely goes counterintuitive to my professional life as a QA professional. You know, as Wait, a QA so person. no platinum trophy for you? Um, not until not until they fix a lot of things that happen with this. You know, but just, like I said, you know, if they get to that, maybe my view will change. But we'll know that in the in the near future. All right, and that'll pretty much bring us to the end of this particular video, folks. That's what we've been playing this week. That's what we're planning on playing this week. Uh, what have you been playing? You can let us know by leaving us a comment below. If there's something you want us to go ahead and check out, we'd love to hear about that. You know, you tell us by leaving the comments the same place. While you're at it, if you really like this particular video, uh, go ahead and mash on that like button. If you really didn't like it, you can hit on like also. I won't blame you. Um, if I haven't said it before, thank you for watching up to this point. We really, really do appreciate it. While you're at it, if you really like what we're doing here, you want to stick around, go ahead, set up those subscriptions, set up those notifications. You'll know whenever we go ahead and we drop out a new video, whether it be on our individual channels or all of us together as a middle-aged guys like we are right here. All right? With that, we're going to end all of our bullshit about what we've been playing this week right here. I'm the Reverend. The theme here. And I'm Gray Mouse One. Once again, for the benefits of Common Sense, Logic, and Gaming. Credits. When it works. What the fuck kind of shit is that? <laughs> I mean, seriously, man.